Martin, Honorable Secretary District Tournament, respected judges and teachers, and dear students, Assalamu alaikum. This is fourth our MS player for me to share my thoughts on the topic which is vitally important to all of us, to society, to our nation and civilization. That is the role of school in uprooting corruption. Your Highness and Greatness, respected sir, we are facing numerous problems and crises today, but the corruption is most serious and alarming of them. This element directs us to our degeneration character and moral devaluation. As a wise man rightly said, when wealth is lost, everything is lost. When health is lost, something is lost. But when character is lost, everything is lost. So this problem of the corruption is the most alarming and need to be dealt with urgency. Many governments came and took all possible measures to curb this stigma for the society. They launched different expeditions and established conflict bureaus to move the shameful and heinous crime from society. But the scenarios seem to get worse and worse. Vaccines seem to be remedy to this chronic disease. And it is very sorry to say that we all know being placed in seventh position in the world most corrupt countries. But the situation is not too pessimistic to overcome because there's hope behind every disappointment. When the sun sets, the moon rises. When the moon sets, the sun rises. The responsibility once again falls on the education institutions. Such as schools, education in schools, uh, education in schools is part not only knowledge and information, but also enlightens one personality, a profound thought and developed character. It teaches good manner, dignified and good manner, dignified, good manner, dignified and decent behavior, politeness and courtesy. Dr. Hobo rightly said, "He who opens a school door closes a prison." Children putting the children in school removes them from the street, and thus reduction in crime. And thus reduction in crimes. Degrad, degrad grief also applies to the view that the survival of an individual and community lies in only embarrassing of individuals with the all methods of education, and enable him to differentiate between good and bad and virtue from evil. Plato further argued that the reason of the vices and evil in the society is only the ignorance of the individual. Knowledge is a light, good is clearly the way of moral character, nation objective. It clings with the zenith of development of nations. Honorable President, children of the today are the responsible citizens of tomorrow. So their upbringing on the right land gives them perfect personality. Better they are brought up through the role they play in the society. So the schools have a vital and pivotal role of development in the good human society. Sir, for example, during the Caliphate of Hazrat Ali, Qazi Shurek was the Chief Justice of the Caliphate. It was so happened that Hazrat Ali lost his armor, which was recovered from a Jew. Which was recovered from a Jew. Case was put on the trial in the court of Qazi Shurek, who demanded written from the Hazrat Ali. Hazrat Ali could provide only his son, Hazrat Hussain, and his slave. Qazi rejected the testimony of the crown that the witness of the son in favor of his father and witness of the slave in favor of his master were not acceptable. So the chief just issued decree against the caliph, Hazrat Ali, and handed over the armor to the Jew. The Jew was deeply impressed and he accepted Islam then and there. Thank you, sir. This is a glimpse of unprecedented honesty, fairness, and participation in the Islamic court of law. We have but to talk of corruption, these decrees are issued against the rulers. Our history is full of such events. Honesty and piety. Our heroes, piety, honesty, and loyalty can be created in the character of our young generation. And this could only be possible by a unique role of school in character building. Thank you. Thank you very much.